Hi, welcome to my channel EasyML. In this video, we will have a quick recap on data summarization. Here, we have sample data of marks obtained by students across two different classes. Let us see how we summarize both these data sets. The best way to summarize any data set is to report both the central tendency along with the appropriate measure of variability or dispersion. For instance, the best way to summarize the first data set is to report the mean, that is the average value of marks obtained and the standard deviation, as highlighted in yellow. However, in the second data set, the one below, we see that both the mean and standard deviation are affected by the outlier value, that is the student who has scored 5%. Hence, we, we tend to report the median and the interquartile range in this case. Therefore, it is safe to conclude that when we do not have outliers in the data, we tend to report the mean and the standard deviation. But if we have outliers in the data, we tend to report the median and the interquartile range. This brings us to the end of summarization. Now, let us move on to the next topic in data exploration, that is visualization. Stay tuned to the next video. Thank you.